igneous rocks are formed. This rock is formed by the cooling and hardening of magma, a hot molten rock that forms beneath the Earth's surface. Igneous rocks are formed by melting of magma. Contestant 1 is right. This rock is formed by the cooling and hardening of magma, a hot molten rock that forms beneath the Earth's surface. Question 2. Explain how sedimentary rock is formed. It's formed by the compaction and cementation of the layers of sediments. It's formed by small particles. Contestant number one is right again. Yeah. Sediments, particles such as weathered rock fragments, plants, and animal remains, or minerals that settle out of solution into lake and ocean bottoms. The compaction and cementing of the layers of sediments form sedimentary rock. Question three. Explain how metamorphic rocks are formed. It's formed by the heat and moisture called metamorphic. It's formed by the heat and, the heat and pressure, which is called metamorphic. Number two, er, <laughs> contestant number two is right. Yes! Metamorphism, the proce process by which a rock structure or composition is changed by pressure, heat, and moisture. This leads to undergone chemical or structural change due to the effects of heat and pressure. That makes metamorphic rock. Question four. What are igneous intrusive rocks? They are rocks that cool slowly, and they are beneath the surface of the earth created by magma. So they are created by magma. They are, ve are cool very slowly and are beneath the earth's surface. Both of you are right. Yes. Rocks that cools very slowly beneath the surface and is created by magma. Diorite, gabbro, granite, pegamite, and pyridite are some examples of intrusive igneous rocks. Question 5. What are igneous extrusive rocks? They are rocks that are created by magma. The rock cools super slowly on the Earth's surface. They are rocks that cool very fast on the Earth's surface. They are also created by lava, and they are very small. They are very small crystals. Contestant number two is right. Yeah! Rocks that cool very fast on the surface and created by lava. Since the cooling process is very fast, extrusive igneous rocks have very small crystals. Some examples are basalt, rhyolite, andesite, and obsidian. Question number six. What are clastic rocks? They are rocks formed by chemical weathering, <coughs> weathering made with small grains of rock. They are rocks formed by um, physical weathering they made with large pebbles of rock. Both of you are wrong. <laughs> rocks that are composed of fragments or clasts of pre-existing minerals and rocks. A clast is a fragment of geological detritus chunks and smaller grains of rocks by physical weathering. Breccia, conglomerate, sandstone, siltstone, and shale this is a sedimentary rock type. Question number seven. What are chemical sedimentary rocks? Uh, they are formed by the earth. Oh, well. They are formed by weathering, and one example is diolmite. They form by the precipitation of minerals from water. Some may be limestone or dolomite. Contestant number two is bright. Question number eight. What is an organic sedimentary rock? A rock that is formed by the remains of organisms. Coal, oil, shale are examples, but it's a rock that's formed by the remains of organisms. Both of you are great. <clears throat> Some are coal, lignite, oil shale, or black shale, formed from the remains of organisms. Question number nine. Explain and give some examples of what foliated rocks are. Minerals that have been pushed down. They look like pages of books. Examples are slate, schist, and dice. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I don't know this question. Um, contestant number one is right. In foliated rocks, the minerals have been flattened and pushed into layers that you can see. Sometimes these bands look like the pages of a book. Three common foliated rocks are slate, schist, and dice. Question number ten. Explain and give examples of what non-foliated rocks are. They are formed around igneous ex extrusive rocks. Examples, marble. They are formed around igneous intrusive rocks. Example, marble. Contestant number 
two is three. They are formed around igneous intrusions, where the temperatures are high but the pressures are relatively low and equal in all directions. Some non-foliated rocks are hornfell, marble, quartzite, and nocobolite do not have a layered or banded appearance. All right, so the points right now are contestant number two is winning right now, and contestant number one is behind by one point, so we're going to do an extra point round. The rock cycle. You have to give us um, a diagram of what you think the rock cycle looks like. So draw, you have 30 seconds. Show us your um, diagrams. Rock, rock cycle. A repeated series of events by which rock gradually and continually changes between igneous sedimentary and metamorphic forms. Alright, so contestant number one is right, and they just got two points, so they're winning by one point. And this ending score is nine to eight. Mic drop. <laughs>